Hi there. This is John Barton with JB Cases. Um, we're going to do a quick video analysis of Dan White's video analyzing Stan Shuffett's video. Uh, this is all in service of a, a discussion that we're having about the center to edge aiming system. So let me put this into perspective here real quick. I'll bring this, uh, I'll bring this full screen here. Um, so, this video here, Stan Shuffett demonstrates that uh, using, he starts out with what he says is a half ball shot here, and what he wants to demonstrate is he wants to demonstrate that, that in center to edge aiming, you're never worried about the angle, the, the actual angle of the shot. So he sets up a shot here that he says is a half ball hit. Uh, it has been de it has been determined that the uh, the actual shot the actual shot here is not a half ball hit. So this this even though Stan thought that this was a half ball hit, it was it is not a half ball hit. Meaning that if it's a ha if a shot is an actual half ball hit to make it to the pocket, that would mean that you line up the cue, center of the cue ball, to the edge of the object ball, and you shoot straight down that line. In other words, you put the cue right on this line right here, pointing to the edge of the object ball. So, for example, a good example of that is a spot shot, uh, where you set the cue ball up here um, at the intersection of these two diamonds right here, and then when you shoot the spot shot, it is a, it's, a, a ha it's an exact half ball hit. So if you just aim it by putting your cue right on the line that splits the, the um, cue ball in half right to the edge of the object ball, um, that shot, you should be able to make the spot shot very consistently um, by shooting it that way, assuming that you're, you can shoot the ball straight down that line. So... Dan White did an analysis of this. Here's the deal with CTE, right? I'm going to, you can't see me, but I'm, I'm going to say, here's the deal. The argument with CTE by those, some of those people who don't think that it works um, mechanically as stated by Stan Shuffett and by myself and many other people, um, the argument for these people is that CTE only gets you close to the shot line and your subconscious does the rest to bring you over uh, into finding the real shot line. So, so therefore you're, you're really just estimating when you use CTE and, uh, and if you're able to make shots at all it's because your subconscious picks up on that and, and directs you to the right shot line. Um, those of us who, who actually use CTE um, and who use it fairly proficiently we don't we don't agree with that because it doesn't feel like feel. It doesn't feel like you're ever guessing at all when you're using CTE. So anyway, Stan or, or Dan White decides to do a, a stroke analysis of Stan's. He was apparently sent this video and somebody said, "Hey, look, you know Stan's stroke isn't straight or whatever." And so Dan got this little uh, uh, program on his phone here where he can uh, he can analyze he can draw lines on the video and then analyze the uh, what's what's happening kind of like you know uh, annotating the video so what he discovered was is that in this very first shot right here where Stan says this is a half ball hit so Stan lines up not using CTE and he shoots the shot and he has a swoop in his stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and, and play Dan's real quick so you can see that. I'm uh, trying to see what's really going on here. I'm so we're going to move ahead if you have more, in the video. So the, those four number three balls position is a straight non-CT off me for my reference. Okay. Now you also see a red line to so the, of the cue. I'm going to pause this. This is the very first shot, and I'm going to move Stan's. I'm going to move this marker to where Stan shoots it, so you can see here. Stan comes down into the shot. I'll move this back, and I'm going to play it. Now I've got this video playing at uh, slow motion here, 
If you use YouTube, you can go to the settings, and I've set this at the speed of 25% of normal. So we're going to see Stan shoot this shot right here. And you'll notice as he shoots it, you can see the cue kind of swoop up. You, you know, you'll see the cue come up a little bit. Um, and then Dan right here finds the same thing. Along, I placed that line along the practice stroke line. Cue okay. Is actually doing a little red dot. So we're going to move this ahead a little bit. So, so if I forward backwards, forwards. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna find the same thing. Yeah, what I want to show you is, uh, Stan just does a little sort of short warm up shot right here. He's along, okay, back and forth. He's along that line. I'm making the cue back go back and forth. Now when he actually hits the shot right here. What's happening? He's swooping the cue with outside English. Okay. Really significantly. You so can see right there. Here's the thing with this shot. Way off. And then he kind of rebounds. Alright, let's pause it right there. This is the same shot on both videos. Okay. This is the half ball, the the shot that Stan thinks he set up as a half ball hit. Okay? Where he lined up like it was a half ball hit. Now we know if it's a, if it's an actual half ball hit, the shot should go with a straight stroke. But if it's not a half ball hit, the shot cannot be made using that aim. So the only way to make the shot is to throw it in. So I will agree with Dan that at this point right here, Stan Shuffett actually gears this a little bit to to make the ball in what he thinks is a half ball hit. Okay? Now, let's move ahead. The rest of the shots on this video are all center to edge shots that Stan has taken. And Dan says that Stan also swoops on these other shots, but not as much, okay? I disagree with that. So we're gonna move ahead to the shots and see. So the next shot Stan takes is here. We're gonna move ahead. He sets the ball up again. Now he's going to use center to edge aiming to get down on this ball. And the whole premise of center to edge aiming is, is that you don't, you don't know that this is a half ball hit to make it. You don't care that it's a half ball hit. You don't care if it's 30 degrees or 32.5 degrees or 37 degrees to make it. You only use the steps outlined in CTE to get down to the ball and down to whatever the shot line is. Okay, so let's take a look at Stan shooting this ball after he does all of his explanation. He gets down on the ball. Now let's watch him shoot the ball. And I want you to look at his stroke right here in comparison. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it again frame by frame so you can see it. But watch the cue here in slow motion come through. He sees addressing it at center ball, and he comes through straight, as straight as you can possibly come through right there for that shot. And he makes a shot. He makes all the shots on this video, so he doesn't miss any shots. Um, but this is the exact same shot where he used center to edge as the way to get to the shot line and did not treat it as a half ball shot. So using center to edge, his stroke was dead straight and true. Now let's move ahead to Dan's analysis here. Let's go down here and, and find the next shot. So here's Dan's analysis of the next shot. And, in back. and the same shot so you can see the same shot. The CTE method with the 12 ball, which is a, okay. the stroke. Now he's showing the stroke. Nice and straight right along that red line. I'm going to go backward. Forward, so you can see right along that line. And when it comes to shoot, okay. Now, practice stroke is nice and straight right along that red line. I'm going to go backward and 
forward so you can stay right along that line. Now when it comes to shoot. Now, I'm going to go back frame by frame here with this. This is where Dan claims that, that Stan still is swooping. He's still uh, uh, steering the cue, but this is not true at all right here. Um, let me see if I can do this frame by frame. Okay, let's go frame by frame. Okay, and stop it right there. Look at this. He's dead on this line. There is no swooping here. There's nothing going on in the world that looks like swooping at this point. Right there. I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it. There is nothing right there that looks like swooping at all. He's dead perfect coming through that shot. Now, I'm running out of time on this video. I've only got about 15 minutes. So uh, I'm going to run through the rest of the shots real quick and show you that, uh, that he doesn't do any swooping at all. Okay? For all the shots taken with CTE, there are no, there's no swooping. So now, Stan here moves, he, he moves the balls to different positions. Dan says this is actually a half ball hit. But it doesn't matter because Stan doesn't care whether this is a half ball hit or not. So let's watch when he finally gets down on the shot here. He's explaining what he's doing, giving you the visuals. Okay, he's getting down. He shot the shot. Let's go back. Okay, let's go ahead and watch the shot. And watch the, watch the cue motion in slow motion here. Now, I could shoot this in even slower motion if I wanted to use my camera to film the TV in slow motion. But I want you to watch what happens here. And I'll pause it as soon as he hits the ball. So here we go. Back and forth, aimed at dead center ball. Look at his cue. It comes right through the dot, just as good as it can be, dead perfect. Now, whenever you hit a ball at all, your cue is going to jump back, okay? So even when you're stroking on a dead straight line, because of the fact that your cue is bouncing back off the ball, you're always going to get that little bit of pushback there, so your cue is going to vibrate off the line a little bit. That's not swooping, all right? That's called stroking as straight as humanly possible, all right? And I would challenge anybody to make a video that shows me they can hit through the cue ball and always, every single time, their cue travels 100% along the chalk line um, and never wavers at all, okay? So, um, anyway, that's the shot right there where you can see that he's coming straight through. Then we go back here to Dan's, Dan's analysis. Let me get my mouse down here. Apparently I can't. Okay, so here, let's go through to Dan's analysis to the next shot. This is the half ball shot. And I'm not going to go through them all. I'm just going to get to the point where he gets here. So here's Dan talking about this shot. There is a little wobble to it. Okay, so Dan says there's a little wobble to the shot, but actually that is again just what happens when you stroke straight through the ball. Okay, that's called stroking straight. So you know anybody can do a video. I I want I want to see them draw a straight line and then shoot shots where the cue never wavers, ever wavers from that line. All right, I don't, think, I don't think that it's possible for anybody to do it with any consistency. So, um, so anyway, that's the video analysis of Dan's video analysis of Stan's video. Uh, from my perspective as a CTE user, um, I think that Stan, except for the fact that 
he incorrectly labeled the very first shot as a, as a true half ball hit and therefore he had to steer it a little bit to make it. All the CTE shots taken were done with a straight stroke and, uh, and the CTE aiming found the shot line just as advertised. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.